All right, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. We are in the thick of it. We are in the first quarter moon phase, Pisces. I am talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. The moon has moved into Virgo. All of my readings are, are timeless, right? So when I talk about the moon phases, I'm talking about how the moon waxes and wanes through these zodiac signs and how you may be feeling... Um, you know, your feelings and just asking yourself some thought invoking questions as life is just happening, you know, all around you, Pisces, so that you don't get overwhelmed, right? So I tend to try to give you some questions, thought invoking questions so that you can just kind of stay on course. This cycle is really all centered around blooming and blossoming into your better self. Pluto is currently retrograde. I do have a link for Pluto retrograde in the description if you want to learn more about Pluto retrograde. So go check it out. It takes you to the second YouTube channel, uh, free information. You know, you always want to empower yourself with knowledge, you know, uh, free information. So let's get into it. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. You also want to start the process of journaling your journey. This is the year of eight. It's the year of wealth, wealth of knowledge, you know, wealth of generosity, wealth of health. Health is wealth, right? So it's not just talking about just money. You want to become healthier this year, right? So let's get into it. Let's get into it, Pisces. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Again, I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. Yeah, wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. Like I said, I've already prayed over your cards. And I'm talking to you even if Pisces is your MC or IC. Here's the God card, right? So you were definitely dealing with an energy that um, somebody was definitely dealing with an energy that was disorganized, stern, very inflexible. You were dealing with somebody who had a God complex. Um, you know, just a very bullying type of energy. Somebody who didn't know how to use their fire, you know, properly, right? And, um, and so I see... That you have moved on, you know, awakened from some kind of a nightmare. Here we have the Queen of Cups here. So make sure you document your dreams. You know, you've awakened from a nightmare, you know. So make sure you document your dreams. Here we also have the Goddess card. And make sure you're cutting ties, you know, with, with these things, right? Your dreams are very, very powerful. So water, this is Cups Energies. Um, connects us with um, emotions, intuition, quality of relationships, friendships, spirituality. So in your dreams, you know, somebody could have had like a nightmare about something in the past. A lot of times you start thinking about, no matter how long it happened, you know, how long ago it happened. Remember, time is relative. So something could have happened 10, 15, 20 years ago that is just starting to come to light for you. That's just starting to make sense, like who all the players were, what was going on. You may have thought, you know, little tiny details back then years ago at the time. That's why I always tell people, listen for you as a water sign to listen to water sounds while you're getting your rest because you want to cleanse by water and start disciplining yourselves on a regular basis so that information will start flowing to you because believe it or not, since time is relative, it'll help you right here in this very moment. So let me give somebody an example of what I'm talking about because there's so much water here in your cars. Here's the um, eight and also three of cups, right? So you've walked away from something that could have been disappointing for you years ago. Let's say eight and three is 11, right? Let's say it was 11 years ago or eight years ago, or three years ago, whatever. Three, eight months ago, whatever. And so there could have been players involved. But let's say it was eight, three people, you know, involved. And it could have been so much stuff going on. You may not have remembered faces, names, who was in certain things, right? That's why when you take pictures and you had that snapshot of things and things pop up, you know, like uh, what, what uh, uh, site has it? Like uh, Facebook may have timelines or like your phone may capture timelines like this happened a year ago or whatever. None of that is by coincidence. All of those are signs that sources saying, okay, this is what happened a year ago. This is what happened six months ago or whatever, because it's really sources way of saying, I'm showing you where you were. Look at your facial expression. Look at the things that were around you at the time. Look at what was going on, like capture learning, trying to teach you how to listen to your intuition, how to read photos, how to read energy, right? So something could have happened, you know, years ago 
where you're starting to learn how to recognize certain spirits and how certain people hang on to things and how they were, how they're being connected to certain energy could have limited your abundance, right? So, and how there were certain people around you that could have been like, why are you so naive? Like, why can't you see this Pisces? Like hanging on to certain people actually limits you. You know, hanging on to their aggression, you know, staying connected to them. It almost gives you like this false sense of security being around a bunch of predatory energies. It's almost like, okay, are these predatory energies going to, you know, protect me or are they going to attack me at some point? Like I saw this, um, one time I saw this nature channel where this, uh, lion was licking this, uh, lion was licking this, um, uh, this animal's head, right? This, uh, um, what animal was it? Um, anyway, I was looking at this animal's head, right? And so, you know, you're just like, okay, you're just like, if, if you're looking at it, you're like, oh, that's so cute, you know, but then really you're thinking about this is an apex predator, <laughs> So is this, this, is this apex predator licking this animal's head? Like, okay, I'm just getting you ready for lunch, you know? And so a lot of times when you're around energies that you think are there to protect you and eventually they turn on you and they're getting you prepared for, to set you up for something, sources saying it gives you this false sense of, you know, this is, this is, you know, an energy that was supposed to protect me, but then they're going to you know, toss me out to the wolves, toss me out to other apex predators at some point. Source is saying to you, you know, as disappointing as something could be, you know, there are energies that when, you know, being around those types of energies that are, and there could be, like I said, an Aries involved, you know, that you could have felt like, okay, the energy could have been married to an Aries. You could have been related to an Aries. Um, Something, you know, for you could have been in a, a situation where you could have um, uh, been in a situation where you could have been, you felt like you were in, you know, survival mode to some degree, you know, in some way situation. So you want to start paying attention to your dreams and documenting your dreams in some way situation, in some way form, you know, uh, or situation so that you can start paying attention to some things. Because a lot of times people don't pay attention to their dreams. Um, um, and they just, just wake up and just go on about their day. You know, sometimes people don't pay attention to their dreams. They just they just wake up and just go on about their day and just, you know, don't even just completely miss the message of what Source is trying to help you with, right? And... Um, because because the symbol of the ram is a is a symbol of protection, leadership, fertility, rebirth, masculinity, authority, right? That's the symbol of the ram. That's Aries symbol, right? But the dark side of it could be an energy that um is disorganized, stern, and also inflexible, right? So it's just like ramming its way, like a bullying type of you know, out of control, like somebody who has like this, like a rabid animal. That's like, what, what in the world happened? It's still a, it's still a wild animal, right? Um, um, and so that's what you want to pay attention to. You know, that's what you want to, you know, it has great force, great power, you know, and, um, and, um, and so that's what, that's what you, that's what you want to land on the light side. And that's what source is saying, take away from that is that you got to learn how to look at the light and dark side of things, because that Ram energy is also an en energy of protection, structure, and authority. And that's what you want to come away with. Right. And, you know, come out of that is that you can protect yourself, you know, and you can add some kind of structure to your fire. And, you know, so you don't have to come across as I'm looking for everybody to come protect and save me. And, you know, and I got to, you know, hold on to this. I got to, I got to, 
you know, wait for somebody to come, you know, protect me. So you can be in divine feminine energy, divine masculine slash divine feminine energy, be whole and complete and know when to, you know, walk away from things that you feel like, okay, are disappointing for you and just say, yeah, this is unhealthy. This is a toxic situation. Remember water also, like I said before, connects us with, you know, quality of relationships. So if you feel like, okay, I'm around a bunch of people that are toxic, you know, and they so toxic, they can't see that I need help because they so toxic, then why do I need to stay around these energies? So that's what somebody's starting to wake up to. Here we have the temperance card, the five of pentacles, the two of cups. Here we have the six of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and also the page of swords. Here we have the temperance card. So source is saying, yeah, you're, you're learning how to... The temperance card is all about harmony and then resolution of some kind of conflict, right? So you're learning how to resolve, you know, some kind of conflict within yourself and be in harmony with yourselves. And so again, you're waking up from some kind of a nightmare. Here's the five of pentacles and you're leaving those types of energies outside of your vault door. Because if you're going through life as this from one extreme to the next, right? Like, okay, I can't break away from these types of relationships and I can't recognize when I'm in a toxic environment where I'm in survival mode and I don't know how to get out of these situations. Like I can't pick up on that energy because I'm so overwhelmed by everything else that's going on around me. So I got to wait for, you know, I'm like, oh my God, I'm just in this situation where I'm just you know, fleeing a situation all the time. So it's just saying, you're going to have to start. This is where the moon in Virgo, when all the dust settles and you get yourself in a quiet place and you start to recognize as a Pisces, it doesn't matter what your age is tuned into this channel or, or where Pisces is in your birth chart. And just, you start saying, I don't want to be connected to other people's dark energy um, because you are wired to have psychic inner, psychic powers anyway, Pisces, just because you're the last sign in the zodiac. Your symbol are two fish tied together swimming in opposite directions. You're floating between dimensions anyway. So, And you're the most compassionate sign and very wise. So Source is saying to you, your wisdom, and you, and you symbolize the ages between 77 years old plus, no matter what your age is. So you don't need to be around a bunch of chaos and confusion and drama because it's immediately overwhelming for you all. So Source is saying to you all, that stuff needs to be outside of your vault door. When you wake up from these nightmares, Source is saying, here we have the page of pentacles, and you start to say, I need to start investing in myself so I can create a life you know, of, you know, my home life, this is pentacles. This is with generosity. Uh, this is money, wealth, practicality. Um, I need to create a life where I can stay away from situations where I can, you know, I, I, I can protect my energy. Here we have the, the six of pentacles and source is the one that's actually approving you for that. Here we have the page of source. So whatever anxiety you may have had about some things, it's going away very, very soon. Here we also have the two of cups. So source is saying, I'm putting you around a whole different group of energy. So congratulations. Congratulations. There's a lot of energies from your past that are lamenting now because they know you're gone for good. They're still stuck at number five. They're still stuck on this you know, in survival mode, you need to come off of that frequency. You need to come off of that frequency altogether of feeling like I got to go back and I got to like, you know, you know, I got to, even whether it's fear or, you know, I got to go back and save somebody or whatever the case may be. So it's just like you come off of that frequency altogether. Just come off of that frequency altogether because it's not going to do anything but hurt you in the long run, you know? And, um, and actually, he, and so Source wants you to just learn how to develop some kind of a strategy. Learn how to develop a strategy moving forward. And that's the strategy right there is, again, saying I need to come off of that frequency and stay on my throne. I need to do the mirror work. And that's what I'm seeing somebody doing. Start learning how to do the mirror work. Here we have Ace of Pentacles here. So Source is saying um, I'm planting you somewhere else. So look at it this way, you know, like, um, you know, you're talking about like a computer program, right? So you're learning how to reprogram yourself. You're deprogramming yourself and you're reprogramming yourself. So a lot of that has to do with how you talk to yourself, how you see yourself in the mirror. So I said this in a, somebody else's reading, but it's more or less like, okay, if I see myself saying, okay, I've awakened from a nightmare, the first thing you want to say, whoo, okay, thank you, source. 
that I'm away from. It was just a nightmare, right? Something from your past. It was a nightmare. You got me away from that. Or if you're still living in certain conditions, okay, today is the day that I need to start creating some kind of a strategy so I can get away from this nightmare, nightmare of a job, friendship, family situation, whatever I need to develop. I need to stop overwhelming myself and I need to start saying, I see myself out of this, right? Right. And start celebrating, you know, in advance. Right. And so it does take work because source wants you to add structure to this, you know, and learning how to protect yourself, right? And not waiting for people to come save you like a damsel in distress. And so that's what Source is saying. You're learning how to plant seeds for yourself, you know, and um, and that's what I see. And so Source is saying something about you investing in your skill set to manifest a new life for yourselves, right? And that's what I see you doing, right? And here we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is you and somebody creating a, a new legacy for yourself, a very rich legacy for yourselves, you know, for that. And, and guess what? It's just a, a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, hard work. This is where you say, okay, I'm investing in myself so I don't have to be around, you know, certain types of energies where my intuition is picking up on, you know, being around low vibrating energies that are very deceptive, like very low vibrating energies that are very deceptive and in survival mode. I don't have to be around those types of energies. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Here we have the um, Knight of Cups here. So that's how you save yourself. It's like, okay, I need to start investing in myself. And what does that look like? You know, what does that look like for you to invest in yourself? So Source is saying, not only I'm sending soulmate energy across your path, you got to first of all, know what your soul needs. Here we have the Star card, right? So somebody is definitely hopeful, you know, blissful, you know, and all of that, right? So here we have the uh, the world card. And so you first want to close out cycles. You know, something has been fulfilled, right? So something you say, okay, I'm hopeful, I'm blissful, you know, that I'm closing out cycles. You know, with any energies, I feel like, um, you know, that, you know, I, I may have felt like, you know, um that you may have been inflexible or stern or even disorganized, like confused about, like you want to close out any cycles in your own mind that you may have felt like, okay, that you're not a star, you know, yourself, like you don't have purpose on planet earth. There's more than one star shining in the sky. And that's what source is trying to help you is this like, okay, you are, you do have purpose. You have purpose. And, and you deserve to be here. That's why Source put you here. And that's what Source is trying to tell you. It's like, okay, it's time to pour into yourself. You have gifts too. You have gifts and talents just like everybody else does. You just got to work at it, right? And so things have happened. You have been in, been put in situations with around low vibrating energies for whatever reason. You know, they have been put in situations around low vibrating energies themselves. They're learning how to, they have to make a decision themselves and how to survive, be, stay in survival mode or learn how to thrive. So some kind of partnership in love and or in business is trying to come in. And so again, source is saying something has been fulfilled, but you're going to have to break some kind of a demonic bond of fear, doubt, lust. Death, the, the devil card um, is about enslaved to some kind of obsession, lust, restrictions, right? So, like I said before, you know, somebody is like, you know, like obsessed with, you know, staying connected to um, maybe, you know, like you like you're like trying to like trying to protect somebody. Right. And so like like, you know, but it, it again, it creates some uh, uh, a codependency. That's what we got water here. It creates a, a, a codependency. So like if you're that person that felt like people preyed on you and you create a false sense of I can protect you, I can protect you, I can protect you. What happens when you try to have a life of your own? What happens when you transition? You know, what happens when you're trying to move around through planet Earth 
and your friends, you feel like, okay, my friends, they can't think for themselves. I got I to gotta always be there. I got to, what happened if you have kids and they have to go to school or go, you know, go away to preschool or middle school or elementary or high school or college and those kind of things. You want to be able to equip people with helping them to, to nurture themselves and know how to nurture themselves. And that's why I tell you about birth charts and things like that. You don't want to create a codependency with anybody. What happens if your significant other goes off to work? You know, and they have a stressful day at work, right? So you want to help. You don't want them to dump all their work problems on you when they get home. Or you feel like, okay, I can't even talk to my significant other about my day because... And then we can, you know, you know, talk about it and say, okay, yeah, you know, we have healthy coping mechanisms. And then we can go on about, you know, having a, you know, releasing it, having a healthy way to release things and then going about, you know, relaxing and enjoying each other and, you know, those kind of things. So I'm seeing a lot of your wishes being fulfilled because you're finding healthy ways to, you know, move forward, right? So important to yourselves. Here we have the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, so this is very nice. So you're teaching other people's how to, other people how to become their own knight in shining armor and not just have to rely on other people. Here we also have the temperance card coming out twice, right? So yeah, again, you're teaching other people, you know, that that source has assigned to you how to resolve conflict within themselves as well, like how to save themselves when they feel like they're in predatory situations as well. So that they're not carrying other people's burdens on their shoulders. So I do see you moving on to being booked and busy and not burdened at all. And, and also with your, your spiritual gifts, high priestess gifts as well. So that's what I'm saying. It's like I see your star shining really bright, you know, in the sky. But I see you helping people. And this is what's going to, this is what's adding to your spiritual gifts too. You know, um, you know, Pisces is the fact that you are helping people. Like you're giving people you're giving your friendship circle, your family, friend, whoever wants the information, because not everybody wants the information. Some people just want everybody to come save them. But when you give people tools and, and tips and, hey, you know, you know, you can pull your birth chart. Your moon sign is really kind of what nurtures you. Your moon has an affinity with the moon out there and, and your moon sign has an affinity with water. And so when your water gets low or you feel like your intuition, things are not flowing to you like your money you don't feel like information is flowing to you. You don't feel like your friendship circle is flowing to you. It feel like things are slipping through your fingers. You know, the rose colored glasses have, you know, been either gently or forcibly removed from your face. And it feels like people are leaving your life and things are not, they, things are flowing out of your life and flowing into your life. All of that's water. And so source is saying that is your moon sign. So you want to know exactly how to nurture yourself when life is happening. So you're not sitting around just lamenting and just feeling like you just completely lost control. So please pull your birth chart, find out what your moon sign is, go to Google and type in how to nurture particular moon sign. Just do it when you're not in, you know, under duress. So that way you can say, oh, okay, this is cool. I can start implementing this on a regular basis. So watch how life just flows to you, Pisces. And you're like, oh my God, I'm not as stressed as I used to be because you have the tools necessary, you know, available to you. So yeah. And you feel a lot more, you feel a lot better when you're empowering other people. Here we have the nine of cups, the four of pentacles, the full card. Here we have the world card, five of pentacles and the chariot card. I, um, here we have the full car. So yeah, I definitely feel like somebody feels like you're embarking on a whole new journey. You've left a circus situation behind. Like I said, somebody's awakened from a nightmare. And again, I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. I definitely feel like your, your, um, your wishes are being fulfilled, whatever those wishes are. And it gives you some time to spend some time, more time to focus on working hard. Everything is lining up perfectly for you. You're not as stressed about who's talking trash about where you live you know, what you do for a living, none of that stuff, right? You're not as tempted. Here we have the seven of cups. You know, when you have a Kundalini experience, you're not tempted to drink or, you know, um, to be on medication and all of this other stuff, the stress out and all of this. You're not tempted to do, you're not tempted to go back to things that you may have when you didn't know how to pour into yourself in healthy ways, right? So that's why Source is actually rewarding you. Source is rewarding you 
for, you know, closing out cycles in love. It's two types of situations in particular. You learn how to close out cycles in love and then hence detaching from fear, doubt, uncertainty, and all of that. So you things have come full circle for you, a complete and total fulfillment, you know, for you. You're not looking for people to save you because you learn how to save yourself. Yeah, so... You, this is healthy feminine energy, right? So when we talk about your creativity, your intuition, let me see what all of this water here, what we got going on here. We got the queen of cups. We got the eight and two is 10. We got, um, yeah, we got, we got nine here. We got nine here. Yep. Yep. So you you are somebody's wish fulfilled they are your wish fulfilled you got um seven and three is ten here so ten ten so you all are definitely in certain you know social circles together you and your person are in social circles together and then and you're teaching other people how to save themselves so it's you and somebody in like uh it's like a parallel universe for you and somebody right and see the number two you got twos coming out here you got the um ten of cups twice you got the nine of cups twice and the knight of cups twice here so source is saying to you, you got the five of pentacles twice this is again this is like parallel parallel universes here hold on for just a second so you got the Ten of Pentacles twice, right? You're teaching people how to navigate around trash-talking energies, people who talk trash about people. You got the Ten of Pentacles three times here, right? So this speaks to legacy wealth, right? This really speaks to legacy wealth here. Um, and planting some new seeds. Yeah, really planting some new seeds, right? And learning how to invest in yourself and keeping people out of your business. Really, that's what it really boils. This is what it all really boils down to is learning and teaching people how to keep other people out of their business after waking up from nightmares of just like maybe telling people a little bit too much and people using, you know, things against you as ammunition. You're, you're learning how to like when the dust settles, when the moon moves into Virgo is learning how to analyze yourself. It's not about learning how to analyze other people. You know, you you're analyzing yourself is like, are you sharing things that could come back and ultimately bite you you know like sometimes we're looking at the cards here you're learning how to because your 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 gifts have actually increased so sources actually increase your gift that's why you seeing generations of wealth here you're passing down wealth of you're passing down wealth of teaching how people how to tap into their water their intuition helping them to see how quality of relationships is better than quantity of relationships. Sometimes you can have a whole bunch of people around you, Pisces, and still feel lonely and unprotected and preyed on, right? That's why some people who come from a large family just say at some point, just say, you know what? I felt unsafe around a large group of people. I don't need, I don't keep that many people around me because now I can start, I can think clearly with less people around me, right? That's what some people have said. But so source is saying to you, you know, when you wake up from a nightmare and just see how, you know, some people don't see that. They don't see that they, they, they are around a whole bunch of people and it gives a false sense of protection. So that's what you're helping people to do. And so you're learning how to keep your circle small and learning how to, you know, pay attention. Um... And that's what Source is actually rewarding you for. So your high priestess gets. And also you want to learn how to protect your water too. Like keep your water protected. So time is, um, you know, time is money. Time is wealth. You know, time is health. Time is like, what are you, how are you investing, you know, in yourselves? Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we got going on here. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Here are the questions for the moon in Virgo. So like I said, Virgo is all about when the dust settle, you know, you just being able to really just move mountains, having that strength and power to move mountains, you know, being independent in your thinking and just, you know, leaving circus situations. Somebody's definitely embarking on a new, embarking on a new cycle. And I see uh, some kind of partnership in business and or in love coming across your path. You have two guardian angels that's watching over you and protecting you. So first question is, are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with the practical and objective eye? Second question is, can you define what's yours to fix and what's not in your life? Third question is, do you feel any fear around being fully self-sufficient and independent? Fourth question is, how can you learn more from nature? And then last but not least is, 
Could you share your free time and energy in a valuable and charitable way? That's very, very important. And that would be a charitable way of just teaching people that the quality of relationships is much more valuable than the quantity of, you know, energies around you. When you start, some of you all are going to go back and just your own past relationships is like, you know, it looks like a whole bunch of people around, but are those people, you know, quality, you know, can you count on those people? You know, so that's what I'm seeing here. Here we have somebody met their match. Here we have sacral uh, chakra cleanse. You have the gift of deja vu. That's remembering the future. That's when you come up, when you meet energies and you're like, okay, I've been here before. You've been around people who talk trash about other people and you're like, okay, been there, done that. You just move in another direction. That's a deal breaker for somebody. When you hear people talking trash about other people, you are protected and love message from your ancestors. Ask yourself, at what age did your parents work on their shadow self? And then at what age did you work on your shadow self? So it's just saying, open your vault door. And so it's time to heal your wounded warrior. Don't return their call. Your inner child is very proud of you. They secretly have a crush on you. You do a throat chakra cleanse so that your, your words and your actions are clear, right? So when you say no, you mean no. When you say yes, you mean yes. There is no... And sometimes people are like, oh, well, how you, why you say it like that? Because no means no. Yes means yes. You know, give me time to think about it means give me time to think about it, right? You are an answered prayer. So don't give yourself a headache over this. You're definitely protected by angels. You have the gift of forewarning and then trust your first mind. Is That's what Source wants you to start doing. It's like, you know, do this water cleanse on a regular basis. Drink more water. Do your juice fast. You know, don't allow your spirit to get dehydrated because you care about, you know, like listen to, like I said, you know, like I said, you don't uh, just adjust your crown. You started out on the throne. Have compassion for yourself, but also make sure you drink enough water for yourself where you're spiritually hydrated and then have compassion for other people. Surrender, 41. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. And that's what I'm talking about. It's like you're, you've are you gone over this around and around and around and around and around and sources like if you felt like you were unprotected and to some degree, it's better for you to learn um, how to protect yourself and to teach people how to protect themselves. You can't force people to, you know, protect themselves. Even if you were, uh, you know, a, uh, a martial art instructor, you can teach people, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to come a time where they're going to have to learn how to protect themselves. And you're just giving people spiritual tips. When we talk about like, you know, tapping into the intuition and helping them, you know, with your high priestess energy to help them with that. So it's up to them to tap into it, you know, to use them during that time. But you got to look at the bigger picture here. Yeah. So, yeah, looking at the bigger picture. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully those questions have helped you. And we, this is what we're closing out. So, like I said, when that moon is in Virgo, you want to you wanna meticulously look at all of it. Like, meticulously look, look at everything. 23, I'm adventurous. So, you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and you need both to truly feel alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. That's right. It's an adventure to be lived to the fullest. And that's what I see somebody doing. I see somebody doing a little bit more traveling. You know, again, you're giving people the necessary tools to, you know, kind of, you know, live their absolute best life on purpose and in vibrant color. And you're investing in yourselves. You know, Pisces, this is where the page of pentacles come in. And you're manifesting the life that you've dreamed of. Here we have affirmations for focus. I am devoted to a clear mind. I take action toward my highest goals daily. I am confident in my abilities. I release distraction. I get the important things done. I am organized. I am in control of my thoughts. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Hopefully those questions have helped you, okay? That's right. This is how you're blossoming and blooming during this cycle here. So just pace yourselves, Pisces. Try not to overwhelm yourselves. And don't forget to listen to water sounds on a regular basis. So that way you'll start to see gradual changes. And eventually you'll start saying, wow, it doesn't seem so stressful anymore. The blockages, things are just flowing to me. Yeah, everything that I've been praying for is just flowing to me, right? That's what I have for you. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.